Dear learners, welcome back again to our course Urdu Rasmul Khat OUL 001. In this lesson, we will learn about diacritic marks of Zabar, Zair, Pesh. In this we will talk about Zabar, Zair, Pesh. First, we have to see which sounds Zabar, Zair, Pesh create. Remember that Zabar, Zair, Pesh do not work in separation. This is the first point which you have to remember about these diacritic marks of Zabar, Zair, Pesh that they do not work in separation. Rather, they always work with the alphabets. When they will work, they will create their sounds. They will work or create their sounds with alphabets. You have to remember this. Commonly, we apply them on the alphabet alif. What we do, we take these decade marks of Zabar, Zair, Pesh and apply them on the alphabet alif. By this way, they create their sounds. And we apply these sounds on remaining alphabets, they create phonemes. In this way, we create phonemes of Urdu. We have here introduced you about these sounds, but in this lecture, we'll apply these diacritic marks of Zabar, Zair, Pesh on every alphabet and create their phonemes. And we have told you that Zabar in English is equivalent to short A. And we'll apply this on Alif, it will be the sound of A. And with Zair, and alif it will be the sound of a and with pesh with alif it will be the sound of o what we have to do we have to take these three diacritic marks and apply these diacritic marks on alif and this will create sounds for us i have told you that we use many sounds and usually we use three sounds uh, with these diacritic marks. They are A, E, O. They will not work in separation. They will work with alphabets uh, and uh, we use them with alif. Then they make sounds like A, Zabar, E, Zer, O. Pesh. We have told you that Urdu uses the sounds of A, E, O and with cl cluster consonant A, A and we have practiced a lot about these diacritic marks. This indicates that every alphabet has four sounds, three with uh, Zabar, Zer, Pesh and one with cluster consonant and we also use long vowels they as well work with these diacritic marks in precedence these diacritic marks that means zabar zair pesh they we name them as short vowels we name them as short vowels in our lecture during bay group we told you that uh, short vowels sound like, for example, the A in English word about. It gives the sound of Zabar. If we will write this word in Urdu, it will be about. A. Uh, that means in Urdu, if we will uh, turn this word into Urdu script or Persian Arabic script, uh, we will insert Zabar on Alif and it will become a about. Uh, and uh, example of Zair, the I in word bin, it gives the sound of Zair, bin. If we will write this in Urdu script, there will be Zair on Ba and it will uh, sound equally to English bin, bin. There is uh, one phoneme with a uh, ba with zir bin, and another example is in word put. It gives the sound of pesh. There is an another example of 
that is word put it gives the sound of page if i will write this uh, in urdu i uh, will insert page on on pay that will become put put page put and these three words help us to understand the clear concept of zabar zair pesh in urdu this is the exact way of pronunciation of urdu words which can't be fully extracted from english because certain sounds do not have the equivalent in english or roman script languages therefore it is necessary to learn urdu sounds by its own script and signs you will learn all the sounds you have to learn them by its own script and signs and then you will be able to pronounce them exactly now we'll see and make a practice of entire alphabets with zabar zair pesh here you can see graph of alphabets we have Uh, taken all those alphabets <coughs> and applied we have taken all these alphabets and applied the sabar zair pesh on them and uh, they will create their sounds most of uh, alphabets uh, we have taken in our previous lectures and we have made practice regarding those alphabets now uh, here we'll take a thorough look on these alphabets with zabar zair pesh uh, you can see here all uh, entire alphabets uh, as i told you that we are grouping urdu, urdu alphabets by two ways as per their shapes and as per their phonemes uh, shapes help us to uh, write words and phonemes help us to pronounce these words um, we told you that there are uh, many alphabets which have similar shapes for example b group in that group there are 5 uh, to 7 alphabets in that group the similar alphabets in their full form in b group are b p t t c and y choti y or j are known also falls in that known also fall in that category y and noon also fall in that category in their short forms that means these seven alphabets create same short forms and similarly j group jim jim he he jim group also jim jim he he they also create the similar shapes uh, likewise dal group or re group they create the similar shapes and we learned about many groups that they create the same shapes here you are seeing you are observing that we have took many alphabets in the same row why so because uh, these alphabets create the similar sound as we have given some examples during our lecture of dal and z dal group and ra group we told you that dal and z create the similar phonemes and dal and d also create the similar phonemes here you will see these examples this is second easy thing to remember the phonemes of these alphabets we are grouping them in a row by that we mean that they create the similar sounds here you can see we have the alif alphabet ain alphabet and hamza there is a debate between alif and hamza and in its place you will learn about this what is difference between alif and hamza here we are focusing on the phonemes or equivalent phonemes of these alphabets so we'll take the example of a 
I and Hamza and you will observe that they create the similar sounds. So we have learned already uh, how to insert these diacritic marks on these alphabets. So uh, see cautiously and listen carefully. Insert on alif, insert zabar on alif, a, zer, a, pesh, o. It is with alif. Now with ayn, a, e, o. With hamza, a, e, o. Insert these diacritic marks on the alphabets of alif or hamza, a, e, o. With ayn, a, a, o. That means Alif, Hamza and Ayn create similar phonemes with these diacritic marks. That's why they fall on the same row. Now take the examples of Ba. And with these diacritic marks Ba, B, Bu. And we have another type of alphabets in Urdu which we use Do Chishmi. They are called Murakkab, Huruf uh, they, they have created with, uh, they have created by two alphabets. We have uh, taken some alphabets, 15 alphabets and associated or allied to Chishmi with them and they became another type of alphabets which we called Murakkab, Huruf Tahji. Here we have another type of alphabet, Bay alphabet and in this uh, row you can see there are two types of alphabets uh, with these diacritic marks. You can see we have allied Do Chish, Ba with Do Chishmi. These alphabets are called Murakkab Ruf Tahji. They have created, we have taken 15 alphabets and allied them with Do Chashmi. And by this way, we created another type of alphabets which are named as Murakkab Huruf Tahji. And they also help us to sound the Hindi, Sanskrit, Bridgebasha, Khadi Boli type of words. These words, words came from these languages. So we'll see here they create similar sound ba b bu ba b bu with ba and ba 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 do chashmi. Third example fa fi fu fa fi fu. In this group you are uh, seeing that we have alphabet of uh, pa plus do chashmi with it. And uh, but it creates the sound of fa fi fu, which mm, the sound is similar to fa fi fu alphabet fa. So as for phonemes, we are arranging these alphabets in the same row. So you have to remember we are grouping the alphabets by two ways, by their shapes and by their phonemes. Okay. Third example that is pa pi pu. Pa pi pu. Our fourth example alphabet ta ti tu. And we have uh, arrayed here twai, alphabet twai with it because it gives the same sound ta ti tu. Now we have another alphabet that is different ta ti tu. And these murakkab alphabets, murakkab huruf e tahji help us to pronounce many words. There, there are many alphabets, uh, many words which we alphabet by these murakkab huru. We have another example that is da, di, du. Da, di, du. And we have <coughs> here its uh, form with do chashmi. Da, di, du. Da, di, tu. Uh, we have alphabet te here. Ta, T two, ta T two. We have alphabet D and D. We had practiced this before. Da D do, and it is do just me for da D do, 
da di do da di do wo alphabet d here da di do and is do just be for da di do da di do da di do we have another form tha ti tu with de do just be tha ti tu tha ti tu we have uh, alphabet uh, say here sa si su sa si su and you are uh, seeing that we have arrayed seen and saw also here sa si su sa si su sa si su sa si su that means alphabets se seen and saw gave the same sounds that means alphabet se seen saw create the same sounds of same phonemes and we have alphabet jim here ja ji ju ja ji ju and and it is a, a form with do chashmi ja ji ju ja ji ju and we have uh, alphabet j here ja ji ju ja j ja ji ju ja ji ju we have another alphabet here uh, that's h and ha we have arrayed h and ha together because they create the same sounds well done ha hi hu ha hi hu with he ha he who ha he who we have an uh, alphabet ghain uh, here and uh, array uh, three alphabets uh, three different alphabets here because they create the same sounds well done wa ghi gu with ghain wa ghi gu with ga ga gi gu ga gi gu and ga with do chashmi ga ghi gu ga ghi gu we have alphabet kh here and it is in do chashmi form kha khi khu kha khi khu and it is the do chashmi form of kaf do chashmi form of kaf and it has arrayed with kh we are observing there are some forms for example do chashmi form of um, uh, kaf and abu do chashmi uh, fa we have arrayed uh, you can observe that we have arrayed um, do chashmi form of kaf with kh and do chashmi form of pe with fa why because they create the same sounds i will repeat once again we have arrayed do chashmi form of fa pe do chashmi with fa and ka do chashmi with kh why so because they create the same sounds so we have arrayed them in the same group in terms of phonemes uh, when we array these uh, alphabets here in the same group or same column or same row why we, why did we so because they create the same sounds so here we have uh, done this <coughs> with kaf do chashmi added this alphabet or it sounds in the group kh why so because they create similar sounds so we have kha kh kh and with do kaf do chashmi kha kh kh kha kh kh we have another alphabet that is qaf qa qi ku qa qi ku we have a choti kaf ka ki ku ka ki ku we have another example of uh, same sounds of alphabets and in this group there follows four alphabets in this group we have arrayed four alphabets that means these four alphabets create the same sound they are we have first alphabet here that is zal za zi zu za zi zu 
another alphabet of the same sound that is z za zi zu za zi zu we have another alphabet that is zoi za zi zu za zi zu another alphabet that create the same sound that is zod za zi zu za zi zu another alphabet that is uh, uh, separate sound that is ch cha chi chu cha chi chu shin uh, they have some similar sound but not uh, totally similar there is uh, some similarity between ch and shin but not the entire totality so will uh, shin will give its own sound sha shi shu sha shi shu we have uh, form of j with do chashmi cha chi chu cha chi chu we have ra alphabet ra here that is the sound ra ri ru ra ri ru and with do chashmi ra ri ru ra ri ru we have alphabet lam here la li lu la li lu and it is it is do chashmi for la li lu la li lu we have alphabet noon here na ni nu na ni nu and it is do chashmi for na ni nu na ni nu we have meme here ma mi mu ma mi mu it is do chashmi for ma mi mu ma mi mu alphabet wa wa vi wu wa vi wu ya ya yi yu ya yi yu these are the uh, these were the diacritic marks of zabarzeer pesh which we applied on these alphabets and we find the result that there are many alphabets uh, which she share their phonemes with other alphabets like uh, tha so sin sad dal za zai zad and many other alphabets and you learnt about them you have to remember these similar phonemes that will help you to ease your study now uh, keep it in mind that the diacritic marks are equivalent to we have practiced uh, about this concept a lot in during wow group and during ye group here we are again reminding this concept to you that uh, the diacritic marks are equivalent to zabar alif zair ye pesh wow this means when the alphabets are preceded by the equivalent marks they will be pronounced by full sound and when they will be preceded by different diacritic marks they will be pronounced by short sound for example wow preceded by pesh wow se pehle pesh hoga to ye kis tarah ke alfaz ki awaz dega wow preceded by pesh it will sound like jun will lengthen its sound khun khub hur dur noor so these diacritic marks help us to prolong the sound or create the long vowels when they work with their equivalent alphabets and wow preceded by zabar it helps us to shorten their sound because when we use these diacritic marks of zabar zir pesh with alphabets uh, we shorten their sound they help us to create the sound but in short length so we have here examples uh, of uh, wow mm, preceded by zabar we have word here josh hosh jaw har gaw har we have another type of example ye preceded by zair examples are e ma tir b mar e sar ye preceded by zabar examples are ya rab ya ta yatim yaman yamin 
particularly when the alphabet followed it would be muharrik or mutaharrik with diacritic sign of zabar zair pesh i hope this lecture will help you to enhance your situation of study i thank you Thank you.